we are back. And I wanted to watch this video that Moses Ingram uh, posted in response to, from what I gather, hundreds of um, racist uh, private messages on Instagram. Uh, let's just watch it and we'll get into it here in just a second. There's nothing anybody can do about this. There's nothing anybody can do to stop this hate. And so I question what my purpose is and even being here in front of you saying that this is happening. I don't really know. I don't really know. But I think the thing that bothers me is that like sort of this feeling that I've had inside of myself which no one has told me, but this feeling of like, I just got to shut up and take it. You know, I just kind of got to bear it. Um, and I'm not built like that. So <laughs> I really just wanted to come on, I think, and say thank you to the people who show up for me in the comments and the places that I'm not going to put myself. And um, to the rest of y'all, y'all weird. <laughs> so there you have it. You know, there's a lot of douche canoes out there. And the problem is, you know, and this goes way back. This goes way back. This isn't just her. You know, Kelly Marie Tran was dragged. You could go all the way back to Jake Lloyd being dragged during The Phantom Menace. Ahmad Best being dragged uh, for playing Jar Jar. You know, to the point where some people get depressed. They get suicidal. Um, and it's just, I don't get it because, you know, I watched the two episodes of, uh, uh, Obi-Wan and, um, I enjoy it so far. Uh, and as far as like Reva's character, she's only been in like 11 minutes out of the two episodes and we haven't even, you know, there's people out there that haven't even given her a chance. Um, there are a lot of channels out there saying really horrible stuff. And then of course there's the, um, uh, uh, uh freaks and game whores or, or geeks and gamers, whatever you want to call them. Jeremy, uh, you got Ryan Kennel, who's openly racist. I mean, just openly racist. Um, you know, you've got the quartering, you've got all these people that are just so sick and twisted. And they just like triggering people. And, you know, it's disgusting. I mean, these guys really, it's a shame that what they did with their channels was they figured out that if they could do a bunch of culture war BS, they can get the clicks and the likes to get the ad revenue. But there's a reason why Jeremy is only at, 340,000 or whatever. And he just, he never gains anything more than that. He's got his audience and you know, the, he's not growing. The reason people like star Wars theory keep growing, uh, in the millions is because he puts out good content. He puts a lot of production value in his content and, you know, even, you know, even, you know, Star Wars theory has been bullied online. Nothing like the race. I saw some of the posts, the, the DMs she was getting. She's posted them. Horrible stuff. Horrible stuff. But, you know, that's the thing about a lot of African Americans or black people in general, you know, depending on where they're from. You know, they can't, they, they wake up and, and, and they feel it every day. And the pressures, you know, and you just, you get a small sect of assholes, fuckheads, whatever you want to call them. Uh, I will not be submitting this video for ad revenue. Fuck these shitty channels uh, uh, for just perpetuating hate doesn't matter, you know, it, it's, it's Moses Ingram this day. It's Brie Larson another day. 
It's Kathleen Kennedy and other. Boy, they really hate women. They really do. They really hate women. And it's pretty clear, you know, that uh, they don't like black people either. Uh, and it's a damn shame that they have to keep doing this crap uh, to make money. It's grifting. Absolute grifting. 